Howdy folks, Nathan here with Mikey, and behind us, the 2018 BMW X2. That's right, Nathan. Now, I would venture that this is the trendiest vehicle that BMW makes, and I have five reasons, a top five list, if you will, as to why that's the case. And that is coming up next. In 2013, Roman and Nathan had a chance to review the then brand new BMW X1, which the X2 is based on. At that time, this chassis featured a potent turbocharged straight six that put a huge smile on Nathan's face. More power made for an impressive zero to 60 time, which, well, Nathan does a pretty good job of explaining. Although I'm not sure about those sunglasses. High altitude, but it shouldn't make too much of a difference. Let's just see if I manage not to screw it up. Here we go. This thing is really nice off the line. Smooth. <laughs> <laughs> Damn! See, this is the thing. Big fat engine, little car. It's the same thing that works in muscle cars. The reason I'm saying that, zero to 60 in 6.1 seconds. And if I'm right, I believe I am, that's not too far off from what BMW estimates. So, despite the fact that I'm twice the size of an average test car driver, I managed to get this puppy to go to zero to 60. And 6.10, baby. So Nathan, the number five trend on our list is that BMW have given this X2 a four-door coupe body style, which is becoming really popular these days. But what exactly does that mean? What it means is that they've taken a four-door and they've made it look a little bit like a coupe by the roof line. And by doing that, they've actually made the vehicle more popular to some people because it looks sportier. Well, the four-door coupe body style is great if you want your car to look, well, more like a coupe, but frankly, there are some drawbacks, namely headroom in the rear seat. It, it makes it a little more difficult to be comfortable in the back seat. That's right, this is two inches lower than the equivalent X1, <laughs> but that only matters if you have tall friends. We should move on to number four, by the way, which is this vehicle is a crossover. Not just any crossover, but a subcompact luxury crossover, which is particularly hot right now. What does that mean? Well, you know cars like the Mercedes GLA 250, the Infiniti QX30, and more recently the Volvo XC40 are all good examples of a subcompact luxury crossover. All right, enough talk about car segments. Let's move on to number three on our list, which is that this X2 is available with all-wheel drive. That's right, it comes standard with front wheel drive and this one is an all wheel drive one, which is actually a little bit quicker. Number two on this list, the eight speed automatic transmission, which comes standard on this vehicle, but there's no manual, but that's okay. <laughs> it's pretty quick, isn't it? Look at this, boom. Lightning back fast shifts. Boom, that boom. quick, that <laughs> quick. That is really, really impressive. Dude. All right, dude, well, we're finally down to the number one trend on our list, and that is, of course, what's under the hood. That's right, it's a twin power, two liter turbocharged engine that's hooked up to an eight speed automatic transmission, which we mentioned before. Unfortunately, there's no manual transmission available. Right, it is a sad day for lovers of shifting your own gears, but fortunately, this engine makes 228 horsepower and 258 pound-feet of torque. It is torquey, and it's quick. Unfortunately, it's a little thirsty. MPG combined, 25. Roman and Nick had a chance to do a 0 to 60 in the X2 a little while back, which yielded some interesting results compared to the original X1. A lot has changed since the X1 came to the US in 2013. Stricter emission standards have led many companies, including BMW, to go for smaller engines, which is exactly why the X2 now features this 2 liter turbocharged 4 cylinder. Alright, brake torque it, ready? Yep. Here we go. go! Sunglasses on. There's 40. And there's 60. What do we get? We have 75. Now guys, as always, we like to do a bonus, and for this list, the bonus is, well, the paint color. It's called Galvanic Gold Metallic. It's a $550 option, and the trend really is that 
especially on cars like this, which is a subcompact crossover, you put really bold, really loud colors on it to kind of help stand out a little bit. That, and also most importantly, I love gold. I love gold. <laughs> I love gold. It's so gold. It's, it's we see from space. It is very, very gold. As for buying this car, price starts at $36,000 for the front wheel drive version. $38,000 if you want all wheel drive. And then if you want it fully loaded like this one, it's just over $50,000. Please be sure to come back to tflcar.com for more news views and real world trendiness reviews just like this one. Thanks guys. Have a good one.